What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we'll be taking a look at the top 10 most expensive YouTuber setups. If you haven't already entered my huge giveaway, all you have to do is simply subscribe to us. It's super easy, super fast, and 100% free, so why not enter? Also, if we can get exactly 5,689 likes on this video, that'd be awesome, but with that said, let's get right into it. Number 10, Ali A. Before we start off, I just want to quickly mention that this list is in no particular order, so one may be expensive more than the other, just keep that in mind. Anyways, Ali A is the most subscribed Call of Duty YouTube channel, so no wonder he has an absolutely amazing setup. He has a really cool looking desk, three really awesome looking monitors, and everything just looks so neat. He has just about every single console that's plugged into his TV, and his camera looks ridiculously expensive. As well, his custom Ali A controllers look beast. One of my favorite things about Ali's setup though is his curved LG monitor. I just really have a thing for curved monitors, so it looks really good. Vegas, one of my Black Ops 3 live commentaries, you can see how wide it is and how much workspace I can actually get on one screen. It means I can be far more productive, make videos a ton easier, and this screen is an absolute beast, and I'm sure you want to know more about it. Since I mentioned I love monitors, why is this one so good? So, since it's so Number 9, Tech Source. Tech channels are known to have some of the best setups on YouTube because, well, they're all about tech. When it comes down to setups, one major key that makes a setup look really awesome is cable management, and TechSource did an excellent job. One thing that I really like about a setup is the monitor stands. He doesn't really use consoles like Ali A, so when that happens, you really don't need a third monitor saving you extra space. Last but not least, he has a really good theme of black and red for his setup, which looks amazing. He even got a skin for his PS4 for the added effects. Number eight, Linus Tech Tips. Okay, so this may not be your traditional setup, but I gotta admit, it's super unique and awesome and that's why I had to showcase it. There's absolutely no desk at all. They literally mounted the computer and the TV on the wall and could just look up at the TV. Now, like I said, this probably isn't used that often unless you're just trying to chill, maybe play some video games or whatever, but still, it looks like a really cool idea. Occupy about as much of my field of view as a theater screen, it works really well. And I even got Brandon our resident cinema purist to sign- Number seven, PewDiePie. Obviously the most subscribed YouTuber of all time had to make this list. Felix's setup is a little bit more like Ali's and less like tech sources because Felix has to record gaming videos and other stuff. That means he has a lot of cool equipment like a lighting ring and a beast high quality camera that goes along with his three monitors and insane custom PC. But to be quite honest here, the best thing about PewDiePie's setup is the little footrest he has under his desk. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone else have something like that, but it must be so awesome because when you spend so much time on a computer like me, you really just want to chill out and that's the perfect thing to have. The ring light, all the beauty gores use it to look good. I don't need it to look good, but... My camera, it's a Canon with a shotgun mic on top of it. So in case I fuck up and I didn't record my shit, this one is a lifesaver. This one is a lifesaver. Number six, Team Epiphany. Jake from Team Epiphany has a really cool gaming setup that I just had to showcase on this list. If you think three monitors is too many, well, Jake actually has about five if you include the big TV overhead. One of them is also an iMac, which means that he technically has two computers in his setup, and that's super useful when you're trying to record and edit at the same time. Just like a lot of YouTubers, this is actually his bedroom, which is insane to think about because it must be closed in for space. Anyways, it's a B setup, and that's why it takes our number six spot. Setup, see how he makes videos, but I also know some of you guys out there are probably YouTubers. You're probably starting out with your own channel. You want to know, like, what do I need to get started? Now, I, trust me, you don't need this. I started with, like, a shitty laptop on, uh, I don't know, like, the, the floor, basically. But it's kind of grown to this, and this is basically everything we use on a daily basis. So over here, I have our Mac computer. Um, this, which I'll pull out a nice Team Epiphany DX racer chair. Look at that bad boy. Team Epiphany colors, the blue and the white. I love this. Um, but over here is the Mac, which is showing a picture of a fish. But anyway, uh, this is where we do all of our editing. So if you guys see like our funny moments, um, vlogs. Number five, Unbox Therapy. 
Another non-desk setup that looks absolutely insane is Lou's from Unbox Therapy. When The Division came out, Ubisoft wanted Lou to make the ultimate setup to play their new game, and what he made is 50% terrifying and 50% mind-blowing. You're used to me talking about triple monitor setups, but Lou literally made a triple 65-inch 4K Ultra TV setup. To put that into perspective, just the three monitors alone cost him about roughly $7,500. And that actually excludes the three $2,000 graphics cards that he uses to run everything. So to kind of come to a conclusion about Lou's setup, is it a little bit OP for gaming? Most likely, but still, it's really cool. What you may have seen in a previous video, I actually had to beef this thing up in order to drive all of these monitors. So now it's running three GeForce GTX Titans. Three! This is about the ultimate experience. Right here is a seat where you can sit and enjoy all of that power. And I'd like to invite each and every one of you to come give it a try. We're talking about this guy right here. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're talking about the hot new title, The Division from Ubisoft. So I wanna give a big- Number four, Totally Silenced Tech. Here we have one of the cleanest setups that I've ever seen. With a completely white theme, three monitors all mounted on the wall, with a TV overhead, it really takes the cake. One thing that he managed to do was actually start drilling his desk and walls to hide wires, which actually makes the setup look so much better because there's literally no cables in sight. I really like how symmetrical the setup is, and the purple LEDs behind it make it look absolutely awesome. Number three, Mars Bar. Alex really knows how to make me jealous with setups. Instead of just one main curb monitor, he actually has a dual monitor setup which looks so good. His entire office just looks so clean, especially with his custom desk. One thing that Alex did that was absolutely epic was having LEDs just cover his entire room, which really defines the mood of it. Just like TechSource, Alex's setup has insane cable management, which really makes everything look so much cleaner. Logitech G410 keyboard. It's got RGB backlit and I've just got it on the spiral setting because that's what I like, and I think it just looks really cool and trippy. I love how the keyboard types, and my experience using it so far, it's just been really easy. Right next to it, I've got a lightning cable for my phone, braided from Anchor, and then I'm rocking the Logitech MX Master as a mouse. Don't really do much gaming here, and this is a great productivity mouse. It's also great because I can flip between these three modes here. See, if I go to number one, it starts controlling the editing computer over there, and if I go back to number three, controlling my computer, which is really cool. So we've got two ultra-wide monitors on this desk. Couldn't quite fit three, and I thought three was a bit of an overkill, so we're sticking with two. They're absolutely gorgeous, 1440p monitors from LG. Number two, Unbox Therapy. Okay, so yes, Louis is making this list twice, but for all the right reasons. He has pretty much his own office space that has plenty of rooms to just do about whatever he wants, so why not have insanely expensive setups in every single room? This one makes me especially jealous because once again, he has the ultimate three curve monitor with the massive TV overhead. To save space, Lou actually mounted both his speakers on the wall, which is just a really nice touch to everything. On top of that, his desk looks insanely good and the purple LEDs behind everything is amazing but a few brands reached out to me and said, hey, Lou, you want to experiment with some of our stuff? And I said, sure. And then this happened. The first thing I want to talk about, and the purpose of this video, is to focus on these LG displays that, that make up sort of the core of the setup. Now, there's a lot to cover here, so I'm probably going to split this up into a couple different videos. But this one is about these monitors. So these displays are not quite 4K, and that comes as a consequence of the aspect ratio, which is, of course, unusual, super wide angle. And Number one, Yazid. You've probably heard about 90% of all the people on this list, but one that you likely haven't heard of is Yazid, and I feel like he has the best setup out of everyone. His theme is obviously black and red, which looks really cool when he shows it off. His desk is amazing, his chair looks awesome, and most of all, everything just looks so neat and cool that I'm super impressed. One thing that I really like about Yazid's setup is that you could tell he's extremely proud that he built it from the ground up, which you could really appreciate. And 
There's our list of the top 10 most expensive YouTuber gaming setups. If you have an idea for a future top five or top 10, make sure to check out the form in the description so you can submit it. Also, make sure you subscribe so you never miss one of our videos and drop a like if you enjoyed. Either way, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.